Bush planificó. Primero, Chávez, petróleo. Segundo, Saddam, Irak, petróleo. Oliver, you've tackled um, issues in South America numerous times. Where did your interest in, in Hugo Chavez arise from? Oh, well, I've done Salvador movie uh, years ago, and then I did two documentaries on Castro. And I went back uh, out of curiosity. There was a lot of turbulence in that region, region, a lot of changes, a lot of antagonism towards him, and I was curious. And, and how long did you have with him? Because like, I got, we get the impression that you have kind of unprecedented access. I think I had three or four days. Yeah, no, he's very, very open, and uh, he loved the idea. He liked my films. He, was, he liked Putu, and he likes uh, Charles Bronson movies. Okay. He likes uh, <laughs> action movies. You know, he's not. He, he's very much his class. It's that he is who he is. He comes from the people. He's poor. He came from poverty. He's not corrupt at all. He respects the poor people and wants to do good for them. That's the way I see him. Who is Hugo Chavez? Some believe he is the enemy. He's more dangerous than bin Laden, and the effects of Chavez's war against America could eclipse those of 9-11. So, from meeting Chavez, did you already always intend to, to travel around and meet the other presidents, or was that as a consequence? Of no, as a consequence. Okay. It, was, it was Hugo's idea, and it came about, and he said, don't take my word for it. Just go and see what's going on. All these countries are changing in their own ways. They all have their oppositions. They all have internal issues. Different cultures, too. Andean culture versus Brazilian culture versus Argentine. It's, these are worlds apart, but they all are concerned with independence of the United States and reform of their own institutions so that the profits from their own resources will be used for their own people. It's a good idea for the United States, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The whole process felt very organic, and when you went and met Chavez for the first time, did you intend it to kind of turn into a documentary, or did you have any intention from that from the beginning? Well, I think, as Oliver said, you know, Chavez was the one who pushed the movie in the direction, saying, don't just do it about me, go and talk to the others, you know, the seven presidents. Uh, and that was a very good thing to suggest, because that's, I think, the strength of the documentary, is that it's not Chavez alone. It portrays a whole continent in change and together. Are you pleased with the, the fine documentaries? It kind of turned out as you. I'm happy it got made, you know, because it was a hard one. Uh, documentaries are like dripping water uphill, man. It takes time, but it does sink in. Some people, good people see it, younger people see it, and they, it always affects them, it stays with them. The truth will help you.